some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Lee County, Florida at the Public Works Department as Joey Surreal Camera attempts to gain access to uh, the third and fourth floors of that building that are restricted access due to key cards on the elevators. But you know what? He doesn't exactly leave satisfied, and he decides he wants to file a FOIA request just to punish everybody in the building. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you for tuning back into the Surreal Cam, ladies and gentlemen, and this is a revisit, and it's an interesting one, too. There's four floors to this building. The very first time I came to this building, I had issues on the third and fourth floor. Cops were called. So I decided to come pay another visit here today and take a look around upstairs on the second, third, and fourth floor. But it happened to be that the third and fourth floor is now closed for the public. It's open to the public, but... The only way that you can come up to the third and fourth floor is that if you sign in and they give you a badge. So because of your last visit, because of your issues, they decided to upgrade security within that building by putting in key card readers and everything like that. Dude, it's like I always say, you guys are only making it harder for everybody else. The more trouble you guys cause... The more restrictions that are put up in every single building that you visit. And it's the same thing with the laws because, well, you know just as well as anybody else that uh, they're putting up new laws all the time because you guys just don't want to stay out of trouble and uh, throw your weight around where you have no uh, actual power at. Desk. How you doing, man? You got the camera up for, brother. I'm just working right now. Okay. That's it. Okay. Taking some pics. What 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 department is this? This is uh community development. Yes. Cool. Awesome, bro. What's your name? Excuse me. What's your name? I don't have a name. You don't? No. Come on. I'm just a, I'm, I'm I'm just a person that's sitting here at the desk. So, when the public asks you, what's your name? How they want to know who they're interacting with. You don't want to be a, a little professional? I'm being professional as possible right now. Are you ashamed of your name? No, sir. Not no. at all. But if I can't help you with anything, how can I? How can I? I just want to know who, who's being a nice guy over here. Oh. That way I can highlight you on my channel. Well, highlight me? Yeah, you know, show that, you, you know, your professionalism. Oh, my professionalism. Okay, well, in that aspect, my name is Willie. Nice I to like meet you, man. I'm Joey. Joey, nice meeting you, sir. Cool, man. You have a good day. You too. All righty, man. How you doing? Hello, I can help you. Shall we? I'm just going to come over here and uh, prove my little point. Last time I did actually came through these, uh, to these floors the first time I came, but they ended up calling the cops and they escalated the situation, you know? Oh, yeah. It's always the other person that escalates the situation with you, Joey. You take no personal responsibility for any of your actions whatsoever, nor any personal responsibility for the reason why this key card reader is now in this elevator right here. Oh, no, no, no. That had nothing to do with you. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Oh, you can't go upstairs? Damn. You can't, you can't go upstairs. It doesn't let you, I think it's restricted. Last time it wasn't. Man. Let's try it again. Yep. It's restricted. That's weird. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, it's upstairs, uh, third and fourth floor. It's not open to the public. Okay, cool. 
No, I just wanted to know that. Thank you. Restricted those floors. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, it's a complete mystery now as to why those floors are restricted access now. I can't ever imagine why, yeah, smile, Joey. Lady. Smile, lady. That's what we want to see. We want to see some smiles. Good How are you doing? Good. It's not open third, fourth, third and fourth floor. It's not open to the public. You have to get a badge to go up there. Oh, where do I get that? At the front desk. Oh, you have, for to have a reason to be going up there. What's what departments? It's um, utilities and county lands are on the third and fourth. So you you pay utility bills upstairs? No, we don't take payments for utility uh, bills. Here. I mean, what do you got to show ID and stuff? No, you just have to get the badge. The there. badge. All right. Thank you. I heard I got to get a badge to go upstairs. You do. See the sign right in front of you? Where do I sign in? You can only go if you have a reason. How can I help you? Take video. How can I and ask some you? questions. For who? For myself. For who? I want to ask questions upstairs. For I want to. Utilities. Utilities. And whatever else is upstairs. Okay, I can't just let you up like that. It's not open to the public, though, right? Is it? You just asked me that, and I told you no. Well, they told me if I get a badge, I can go upstairs. No, she didn't tell you that. I'm sitting right here. I can hear her. She just told me I can get a badge. You can get a badge, but so, you have to have a reason. I just told you. You didn't give me a reason. You just said yeah, I want to ask some questions upstairs. For who? For myself. No, not for you. For you. For what department? Utilities and whatever else is upstairs. Joey, that's not exactly a legitimate excuse to go up there. I mean, they've closed it down for a reason to the general public. Uh, you need access, like they said. And, uh, well, you know, here's a little secret that you should know, especially with the Public Works Department in uh, Fort Myers. And go. this goes with every uh, government agency. The information that you generally want to seek is all online. For instance, here's the frequently asked questions section for the wastewater treatment uh, portion of uh, the Public Works Department. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure you could have figured that out on your own, Joey, considering how much you do in research every day before you go into these buildings. Yeah, you're a master at research. Uh, no, I'm thinking of somebody else. Yeah, you're not a master of any of that. In fact, I wouldn't call you a novice. Yeah, they're not going to freaking let me up. They're probably telling her. No, don't let them. Number two, six, eight, one. Now yeah, you can't go upstairs. You're not going to let me go upstairs? I told you my batteries. Yeah, I need to ask some questions. No, I wanted to go. I wanted to go in person and document it. Okay. I'm sure you are. All right, so who's in charge of this, uh, of that? Who put that uh, policy that I can't go upstairs and ask questions? Five, three, eight, no, at station six. Two, four, eight. What is it, Melissa? Damn, but I don't want them. I wanted to go like up on my own without them even. Knowing I'm coming up there, but they don't look like I don't look like I'm gonna be going up there, guys, because they restrict public access here in this building now. Hey, Joey, I'm wondering, uh, was it already restricted access to those two floors? Uh, because well, a lot of buildings 
restrict access, but don't bother putting in security because most people are intelligent enough to realize that there are certain areas that are secure for a reason. But you're not one of those people, are you? So they had to put that uh, security system in, especially for you. Now let's just go ahead and jump to the park where the cops show up, okay? A little longer than a few minutes later. Hi, what are you guys doing here? Don't tell me they called you guys. Yeah. For what? Um, That's I crazy. Like, I talked to you last time. Yeah, I know. Bro, oh, but that's not... I just have questions for you. That's no reason to call you guys. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. We'll be right back. Yeah. That's crazy. What's up, bro? How you doing? What's your name and badge number? What's that? What's your name and badge number? Oh, the badge number I don't have, but my name's Martin Hernandez. Are you a lieutenant? What's that? Are you a lieutenant? No, no. Why didn't you have a badge number? I don't. You don't know it? You don't have one or you don't know it? No, I don't know it then, because there is a badge number. They never told me. Really? First cop that doesn't know their badge numbers, bro. No, I have a permanent ID number, like my ID What number, is that? That's not a badge number. It's... So when somebody asks you for your badge number, like I like I do to all the officers, they give their badge numbers. Yes, I used to have a badge number when I worked for the Highway Patrol. They had a badge number on the actual badge. But Lee County has one too. No, it's, it's your permanent ID number. Maybe that's what they're giving you. Do you, do you know it? 23213. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's it. But these I people, I don't know why these people called you guys. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm recording in public. And, and I'm trying to go upstairs to ask some questions. They're not letting me upstairs to the third or fourth floor. I didn't come here with no ill will intent or nothing like that. But I don't know why they so called you. Except that you just you have you're having an issue because you want to go upstairs. Yeah, I just wanted to ask some questions upstairs, but they're not letting me. But I was still yeah, upstairs. Yeah, so there's no public access to the I think it's the third or fourth floor. Yeah, they told me there is if I get a badge oh, in the front. From my understanding. You they said I have to have official business there, but... You have I, to have, like, a meeting with someone or some up there. I don't know what that floor does, so I don't yeah. know how to get you in touch with those people. All right, because I, I came here last time when you came, remember? Yeah. And I went upstairs. I didn't need a badge. I was on the fourth or third floor. Oh. I t You know, but I had issues. The guy called you guys, and, yeah. you know, I wanted to finish, you know, my story that I didn't finish last mm -hmm. time. But basically, I wanted to ask some questions, and I was going to leave. Mm -hmm. But I don't know why they, they called you guys for no, like I said, the recording tends to freak people out. For Why? I don't understand that. People don't like being on you guys, camera. You guys don't have the body cams yet? No, so because we're court personnel, yeah. and there's no recording allowed within the courthouse, so we can't have the... Bro, oh, you guys can't have body cams either in there? Not, not in the courthouse. Yo, no. you don't think that's a little not non-transparent? You know, not there's a D, there's so. a DMV in there. I'm a, you know, have a right to record my public officials and, and no, document. Actually, there's no DMV in the courthouse anymore. Whoa. Oh, there's not? No, it's been gone for a oh, while. Oh, yeah, shoot. We're going on a year that it's been gone. You know, I'm pretty, I'm, I know inside the courtrooms, a lot of the courthouses, you can't really until you ask the permission for a judge, but not inside the court, like in the hallways and stuff. So that's very has, unconstitutional, man. The judge's order, which we have to follow, is the entire justice center complex. Yeah. So that's the justice center the tower side and the annex. But you know that's you see that's a little wrong. That's the judge the judge doesn't can supersede the constitution of the first amendment. So, you know what I mean? That that's you guys that's swore an oath. You guys swore an oath to what I'm doing right now. I, I know you got to follow orders for a living. I know I, I know that. Yeah, but I can't, a I can't judge can't just say a judge can't just, you know, stomp on the constitution and just not let me let people record in the public building that we pay. So, that's what I don't understand. So in all this time, Joey, you haven't learned that the rationale behind uh, not being able to film inside the courthouse or court courtrooms is that it's for security reasons because you might end up picking up a juror's face that uh, you don't want. They don't want posted on the internet. You might end up picking up other conversations or anything like that that don't need to be on the internet, such as attorney-client privileged information. You just don't understand that concept? Or is it that you just don't care about it? Because either way, it just makes you look like an incompetent asshole. I don't get that. The security of the things that go on within the courthouse. You know that, that the, the camera's in there too? That's public. I can, I can request those cameras as well. Okay. Well, gee, Joey, don't you think that if you foiled that information, that all the stuff I had discussed earlier would be redacted out of that footage? So 
Do you even comprehend that kind of thing about security issues? Or is it just too far above your pathetic little brain to uh, understand? I don't understand that. Why? Well, within your right to do so. Yeah, I know. But right. it's also within my rights to so go record in that. You don't wear the body cam I know. in there. Oh, but you do have it. Our unit does not. Okay. So, like, if I were to transfer units and go out on the road, then I would be it. Okay. Body camera, but because I work oh, house, you don't. I don't have one. Yeah, but well, you guys still should have one, man. It's all about transparency, man. When you see you're interacting with me right now, you should be documenting this. But I think you're doing yeah, but some a lot of a lot of people don't don't record. You know, things happen in the streets. You know, so all I, I'm just I think that everybody, all the y'all should have body cams. I know Marcino. It's a little bit. He's a little. A lot non-transparent, and he doesn't like to be held accountable. And I know Marcino, and I know his back, and I know his backstories, and I know him. You know what I mean? And that's and and calling you guys over a person exercising their rights, and I'm very respectful. I haven't even, you know, and they're calling you. That's very that's wasting taxpayers' money right now. I think, bro. It's part of our job. If someone feels uncomfortable or feel they want to make sure that you know you're. Yeah, your but this is why I do this to educate oh, whoever know. feels uncomfortable that they're government employees. They can't be acting like that. That's unprofessional. They feel uncomfortable over a camera. They shouldn't be working for the public. They should be in a private sector or, you know, don't work. Don't be a public. Yeah, I know. I can't do anything. But once you be once you become a public employee, you waived all that privacy. You don't got expectation of privacy. I can find out everything about you when you work for the government. It's all public information, and should, they should act professional in front of a camera. You know, so you you seem very professional. The first time I met you, you seem okay right now. I know him too. I don't know. You guys pulled, you guys pulled up here real fast. They're telling me I, uh, they're gonna come talk to me. I don't know. I'm thinking it was a supervisor. Yeah. I'm trying to go upstairs, but yeah. So like I said, I, from what they explained to me, you. Were, when they say official business, it's yeah. a meeting or something. Yeah. You have to have a reason to talk to the people up there because there is no just general public yeah. access. You know that a recording in public as a journalist is official business? No, it's not, Joey. No, it is not. Where did you get that BS from? Citation needed, please. Because uh, being a journalist does not grant you any special rights or privileges to gain access into restricted areas you douchebag see what i mean with these auditors they believe that uh, being a member of the press grants you special rights and privileges above everybody else who is not a journalist no 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 it does not joey but at any rate i'm just going to cut the video right here because he doesn't get any access to those floors and he decides to file a FOIA request on everybody in this building because, well, he got his butt hurt today because he couldn't go into those floors. Oh man, maybe you should try some of Blackheart Knight's butt hurt cream. It has a special formulation, especially for frauders like you, that will uh, soothe that uh, lovely pain in your ass or your money back. Uh, well, that's at least what the elves tell me anyway, and I don't guarantee that the elves are 100% legit on that, so let's just be clear on that. That's my disclaimer for those elves right there. I'm not backing them up in any way because I don't want to be sued over this. So feel free to enjoy your uh, tube of butthurt cream, whatever good that'll do you, Joey. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?